Tonight, breaking news. As we speak, court is in session just moments ago. The shocking baby Gabriel kidnapping trial verdict came down. Listen to it. We're going to listen to it ourselves for the first time right now together with you. And then we're going to analyze it. Check it out. As to count one kidnapping, the verdict form is blank. Verdict as to count one, lesser included. Having found the defendant not guilty of kidnapping or after full and careful consideration of the facts, being unable to agree on whether to find the defendant guilty or not guilty of kidnapping, we the jury, duly impaneled and sworn in the above entitled action upon our oaths, do find the defendant, Elizabeth Johnson, as to the offense of unlawful imprisonment, guilty. We further find that this offense is a domestic violence offense. Oh, my gosh. This is the biggest jaw dropper since the Casey Anthony verdict. Because, yes, guilty unlawful imprisonment. Yes, guilty conspiracy to commit custodial interference. But the big charge was kidnapping. And you just heard it. The verdict form was left blank. So, uh, essentially, she is not convicted of kidnapping, even though her precious baby disappeared on her watch. Even though she called the father of the child and said, I killed the child. I suffocated the child till he was blue and I threw him in the dumpster. Even though she then told police a totally different story. Oh no, I gave this baby away to a mystery couple in San Antonio. And despite all that, despite all that not guilty on kidnapping, even though she left her state with the child, which was not approved by the court because a judge in Arizona back in 2009, right before this precious child disappeared, had just awarded her and the father joint custody. That's why she takes off with the baby and goes to San Antonio, Texas, the last place this child was seen. Not guilty of kidnapping. The verdict form left blank. Unbelievable. Baby Gabe's mom, 26-year-old Elizabeth Johnson, had been charged with, the big charge was kidnapping, along with custodial interference. She had been facing up to 27 and a half years in prison. She was just convicted of the lesser charges. Baby Gabriel, nobody knows where he is tonight. Nobody knows whether he is dead or alive. Imagine what the father of this child is going through. And right now, the dad's father is on the witness stand talking about aggravating circumstances, trying to convince the judge to throw the book at this woman in terms of a sentence for whatever she was found guilty of. I have got to go to Wendy Murphy, former prosecutor. I'm shocked. Everybody said this was an open and shut case. Everybody said that her defense attorney did a terrible job because he called no defense witnesses. And yet she is kidnapping the verdict form is left blank. Yeah, you know, the only thing I can say here is that kidnapping is a very specific charge. It's sort of a hard charge to prove in a case like this because you have to prove not only that there was the taking away, but that it was for a specific criminal purpose. This is a very confusing case, Jane, because we don't have the child, we don't have the body, and the mother's confessions, unlike so many cases when you have a confession to a particular criminal act, this is a case where the defendant said, I killed him and did all sorts of gruesome things to the child. And oops, no, I didn't kill him. I gave him away to uh, some unnamed couple. The problem here is, has a jury supposed to figure out exactly what happened beyond a reasonable doubt if really the only evidence they have are her two conflicting confessions, neither of which necessarily is sufficient to prove kidnapping?